What you guys got another video here for you. I've had a video request from one of my YouTube members. He wants to know how to slipstream or integrate all the updates for Windows 7 into his build that he's trying to make, okay? Now this is basically a Windows 7 disk that you drag onto your desktop and you can then up put all the updates for Windows 7 into it and then rebuild it. So when you go to install, it will automatically be updated to the max and you won't need to update Windows anymore. This saves a lot of time for technicians, but it also, for home users, they may want to do it to save them having to keep updating Windows service packs and all the updates. Now he says he's running Windows XP and he's having trouble doing it on a Windows XP machine and trying to build his Windows 7 build. So I thought I'd show you how to do it in a video. So I've got a folder here called Slipstream and inside here I've got a program that we're going to be using called Win Toolkit. And I've got all my updates and some other programs that we may want to slipstream into our build to save time on installation. So the, the actual program you can get from this website here. It's a free download and as you can see here, if you've got Windows XP or Vista, you're going to need to download and install these two programs, okay? The .NET Framework and this one here. Once you've installed those, it should work a treat and you should be okay. So we're running on a Windows 7 machine here, so I'm going to fire this up. I've already dragged it out of the zip file here, and I'm going to run this as administrator. And inside the uh, program here, you can see we've got some options open to us, okay? It does look a bit daunting at first, but once you get used to it, it's pretty straightforward. So let's click on the main tab here and uh, have a look and you can see these little pop-up boxes when you highlight over them and this gives you full information of what the actual tab will do and you can see the all-in-one integrator will do all the little tasks that you want it to do like drivers files gadgets language packs and all that sort of good stuff and integrate those the first one we want to do is the update tab here now we want to get the updates like you said you said you had trouble getting updates so you want to come down to McRib here as you can see, or rip, and you want to go to Windows 7 uh, times 64, that's the one I've got. And once you do that, it will populate a list, and you'll see a big list coming up. Now, I've already got these downloaded, so it won't be the full list because I've already downloaded them. But yours will have loads of ticks in here on the ones that you can download. These are the optional ones, and I don't want the optional ones. But if you do, then you can download all of them. And all you need to do is put the ticks in them and then hit the download button. I've already got these, and I'll show you that right now. Inside here, this is where all the updates are. And you can see it creates a folder and puts all the updates nicely in there. Okay, and this is not the only way of getting updates. There's a few other ways of doing it, but this is the way I'm gonna be doing it today. Okay, so now we've got that done, let's open our program back up. We can close this one off. You can browse to the area where you wanna save all these as well, okay? Close that off. So now we've got all our updates and we've got our Windows ISO so what we're going to do here next is go to the all-in-one integrator. Click on that and you can see that because I'm pointing to a folder with no service pack, it wants me to download another ISO image from them which is legal and it will have the service pack already slipstreamed. So this is okay. So if you have got this uh, problem, then hit the yes button and it will take you to a page where you can download what version you want with the service pack one slipstreamed. It will save you a lot of time, okay? So I'm gonna already got this down, so I'm gonna say no here, but you wanna be saying yes to this if you want the service pack slipstreamed. So don't worry about this, this is just showing me the the uh, version that's not got the service pack one installed. So I'm gonna click on browse here, and you can see if you've got a a DVD which you've dragged off of a DVD you can use this version here but we've got the ISO so I'm going to hit that one go back into the slipstream folder and you can see this is the actual folder the Windows 7 one with the Windows as a normal uh, version from a CD with no uh, service pack in it and this one is our ISO image so we're going to use that click open now it wants to open all the files out of the ISO image and put them into another location. So I'm just gonna leave it into the same folder and click select folder. 
let that do its thing it's just tearing all the uh, files out you will get a not not responding here don't worry about that that's normal just let it do its thing okay now it's now finished and you can see what it's done it's basically ripped out all the files from the ISO image and created another folder and now it's showing up as Windows 7 Professional I'll quickly show you what it done there inside the folder where the ISO image was you can see it's took all the files out of here and put them into its own folder and here they are okay so now let's uh, continue here what I'm going to do is click on the green one that's highlighted that's the professional version and you can see it's got service pack 1 already in there we're going to select that version now we've got this box popping up we want to come down to the bottom where it says uh, continue no preset click on there and now we can start to add in our files so we've got updates and languages click on that tab and then go plus and what we want to do is go into the desktop and slipstream folder and where you've saved all your updates and you want to just click on the top one pull down to the bottom hold the shift key and then highlight those and click open and this will put all these uh, updates into here and you can see them 405 of them are going to be transferred across ready to be slipstreamed in this might take a bit of time depending on how fast your computer is okay so that's the actual list now populated and as you can see here there's a ton of uh, files inside here with loads of uh, different numbers and names don't worry about those they'll just uh, there for reference for the computer to recognize these updates and uh, as you can see here we've got the wallpapers bit you can add in your own wallpaper now if you're a business and you're installing this on clients then you can also have your business uh, wallpaper there so when you install it will leave that on the system with all your telephone number email address and stuff like that it's a nice little uh, feature theme packs you can also add those in and gadgets and um, we're not going to bother with that drivers also you can add in your drivers like network drivers and stuff like that we're not going to bother with that because I want to keep it stock uh, just a, a stock ISO image with just the updates on it that's all I want and start that by clicking start this will just name it that so I'm just gonna click accept it's now going to mount that and try to slipstream those or integrate those into the build itself so I'll let that do its thing and I'll come back when this is finished okay so that's the actual session now complete as you can see here it says completed and there's the time it took to complete now again as I said you could have added in all your other options here if you wish uh, before you built this okay so if we wanted to add anything else in we could do we could add in uh, some applications like add-ons like I did say uh, sys internals and uh, if you wanted to add in something else you could also do that like so and then once you've completed that you could add in some drivers if you wish ie network drivers and stuff like that and then all you would need to do is click on start and that would start to add those in and you'll see it will mount the drive again and um, basically rebuild that now you can keep doing this uh, adding stuff in and updating it as you wish if you want or you could have done this right at the very beginning and just finished it off in one fell swoop which I would have done okay but that's basically how you add those in like so so that's the actual install now finished and complete we can close this off and now we need to recreate our ISO image now if we go back into our area we can see that inside our service pack inside here this is the folder that's now been changed if you look at the uh, size of it you'll see it's now 3.89 gigabytes and you can see this is the original so you can see it's been upgraded now we need to create the ISO image out of this so what we're going to do is come down to where it says basic and then come down to where it says ISO maker 
going to click on that and then we need to browse to our folder and it's on that location here as you can see I'm going to select that uh, the actual BIOS we can leave this as is BIOS and UEFI if you want and you can change the label if you want to something so now we've got that done that's going to be the label you can change it to wherever you like now we need to select the output location and I'm going to put this into our slipstream folder and uh, we'll just put it back into one of these let's create a new folder here And it wants me to put a name in so I'm just going to put Windows 7 we'll just put that in there for now and then basically once we've done that we're just going to hit the start button and this will create our ISO image for us and that is now complete click OK and close that off and we can now close this off we don't need this anymore and if we go into our finished folder we should have the finished item here and you can see that is now four gigabytes in size or near thereabouts as you can see and that is our finished ISO for installation and you can see it'll have all the um, applications in there and all the updates for Windows 7. That's basically a integrate or slipstream Windows 7. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy the videos, hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with uh, any videos when I upload them. If you've got any video requests like this guy did, then send me a message or leave a comment and I'll try and uh, make those videos for you. So thanks again. Bye for now.